Of it must seem of little importance, being neither renowned as great warriors nor counted among the very wise. I do like the fact that Frodo is like, you're late. And what's so great about that is that he can get in Gandalf's face like he has no problem mm -hmm. criticizing him. So it establishes right away the friendship between oh, these two characters. Don't worry, Sam. Rosie knows an idiot when she sees one. Does she? <laughs> is it secret? Is it safe? It is kind of insane if he had Frodo understand the full gravity of what's going to happen. There are markings. It's some form of elvish. I can't read it. There are a few who can. I wonder if Frodo would have agreed. Listen, kid, enough. you're gonna get fucked up. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, find them. I think Frodo <laughs> would have gone, even if he understood. Oh, that's uh, the, that's the, who he is. In the books, you get a bit of this where he's like kind of yearning to get out into the world yes. and have an adventure, just like Bilbo did. You don't really yeah. see that here because there's not enough time, but... But that might be the ring causing him yeah. to do that. The ring has awoken. It's heard its master's call. No one knows it's here, do they? Do they, Gandalf? Yeah, you can call this a key moment. A call to adventure. Who goes there? But, uh, yes, yes, he, in the book he talks about, I've been, you know, he's, they, they take, he's taking long walks, talking to dwarves. I will take it! Oh, it's, I love this expression. So well, gonna... much to be gleaned from it. I will help you bear this burden, Frodo Baggins. You have my sword. I just love this as like a as a beat, you know? This little hobbit. This little shit. Just bravely embarking on this quest. And you have my bow. And my axe. Well, and I think part of why it's so agreeable for a lot of people is that nobody sees, like, a distinct agenda for him. It's like... No. He's holding it's it. It's very pure. Yeah. He just wants to help people and save the world, save his home. Aragorn's like, yeah, that works. Yeah. Carry the face of us all, little one. If this is indeed the will of the council, then Gondor will see it done. Yeah, I think it would have been really easy for this scene to come across as really contrived and like, oh, isn't it convenient that Frodo happens to be the one that gets chosen to do it and everyone just falls in line? But, like, the way it's played out... It all just flows really nicely. Such a moment of yeah. no fucking way. He's dead. <laughs> like, after all this effort already. A little face it makes, too. <laughs> I like the fact that even if it didn't puncture the mithril, it would have destroyed his fucking ribs. <laughs> Probably killed this, him anyway. Yeah, like it's uh, liquefied some organs, maybe. The thing is, it <laughs> looks like it. it went through the hole between his arm and his chest. I guess it would have scraped by, and that could have been the reason why he had that reaction. Like it was pressed up against the, like the right prong was actually against the wall. <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. Th I think there's a way you can buy that that would have worked, as in, like, with the things that we know to be true. It's kind of a glancing blow. Yeah. What are you doing? And that gradual realization of what's going on here. Yeah. Run, Frodo. Go on. Hey! Hey, you! You know what we need is explicit dialogue from Frodo saying, I'm not going with you! <laughs> I'm exactly. going to go somewhere I'm else. going to take the ring to Mordor by myself. That way, we won't have trouble with people trying uh, to take Mary. it off me. You know the way to Mordor. Yes. You will lead us to the Black Gate. Gone to a point now where Gollum is essentially part of the team, and when you combine what Gandalf's told Frodo before and then what Gollum is, it makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. that Frodo is quite sympathetic almost immediately. Also, uh, Bilbo, the yes. big old scarab face. So begins the adventure Good. of Frodo... Being like, we got to be able to save Gollum, so we can save me. Well, it's an interesting thing that this film has to do with. It now has the task of creating and uh, maintaining all of these new subplots, whereas instead we had the Fellowship, you know, yeah. together as a team in the first movie. Yeah. Now it's like, what is, you know, Frodo, Sam, and Gollum up to? What's Aragorn and Gimli and Legolas up to? Hey, Stinker, don't go getting too far ahead. Why do you do that? Call them names. Run them down all the time. Well, because... <laughs> I don't know. That was definitely just look at him. It's an interesting conversation, this. Why? Because he's talking about himself. Every time, uh, yeah, every time he looks at Gollum, he's like, yeah, that's me. You know, potentially. This carries on. I'm going to end up like him. I have to believe he can come back. 
You can't save him, Mr. Farrell. What do you know about it? Yeah, Sam's not picking up the subtext there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't need to be hearing this from you, Sam, that it's totally hopeless and he's gone forever. For was like, he's kind of like me. And then Sam's like, worthless, pathetic, we should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Sam wouldn't make a great Redditor. It's the ring. You can't take your eyes off it. I've seen you. I can't ban you, but I can delete your posts. You have to fight it. I know what I have to do, Sam. The ring was entrusted to me. My task. My own. Cut to Gollum. My he's precious. like, you guys okay? Rings all nice and snug and rings taking me, Sam. If I put it on, he'll find me. It's a completely understandable conflict though, because like what you can't put Sam in your head to like see the effect that it's having on you, like internally. Well and, and they do a really great job across across the three films of just breaking Frodo apart. Like uh Yeah, it further emphasizes that it is a tremendous burden. The fact that he's been able to get this far at all is astounding. Like it's just every waking moment is a struggle. <laughs> Mr. Frodo, are you, are you doing your weird ring shit are you right being now? Again? <laughs> are you having a moment, Mr. Just let me Frodo. know when I need to tie you down. Never go full <laughs> retard, Mr. Frodo. Let me know when I need to share the load. No. <laughs> oh, there she is. I, have I love you. Uh... Hello. Ah. I would be shitting my pants. Your Spiders at their normal size are not great. So when they're this big, it's like, oh, yeah. fuck. It's not even just the way spiders look. The way they kill is, like, fucking horrifying. Yeah, yeah, the insect world is the nightmare realm. You know, the fact that, like, commonly speaking, big cats will hit you in the throat and you die. Like, that's, it's like, well, that's preferable. <laughs> oh, this part where he's like... Oh, yeah, this was like, oh, this is so fucking tense. Well, because the shadow comes up first, right? And it's getting bigger and bigger. Oh, the desiccated corpse is hanging down. And that looks like some particularly sticky webbing. Yeah. I think it's Gollum just, just fucking trolling in the background. Yeah, that's the fresh web came right out of her butt. God, that's such a good scene. Oh, As was said, it's the tension. Jeez. Like, oh, fuck, Frodo, go, uh, go, 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 go. <laughs> and then the sword. Oh, no. no. Gollum, give him a fucking second here. <laughs> Fuck you! Ooh. Even though Sam made all that bread, I still hate you! Spiegel wouldn't hurt, master! Promise! God, you're really making you this difficult. You were as I was trapped in the web, you fucker! Well, but that's what's so good about this, is that, uh, it's just Frodo realizing, like, there is a good guy in there. It's the ring that brings out the bad side all the time. And he knows! We can he destroy it, knows. and we could be free of it. Saving Gollum is saving himself. Because Sam would have fucking thrown him off the cliff already. So that's the uh, difference, is that Frodo can directly yeah. understand Gollum. This is Gollum what I have to do. Sam can't. There needs to be a path back for Gollum so that Frodo can believe in his own. So that Frodo has his own path back, exactly. <laughs> so sorry, Sam. Frodo's having a really fucking bad day. It's not great. It's not great. He's about to discover that it can actually get worse. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Day, oh god, he's got he's day. got quite a journey left, yeah. <laughs> It probably is a really good thing that we have that cutaway of a lot of stuff happening between Gladriel helping him up in this. Yeah, because I guess you don't want to juxtapose it so hard that it's like that, but oh, look at it. It's so uh, gross. Uh, spiders. I love the silence of it as well. At least it's not one of those oh, yeah. really spindly yeah. spiders with a long ass thin legs. At least it's a chunky spider. Well, apparently this design was chosen better... because Peter Jackson finds these spiders the scariest. Oh, it's it's the really it's, for me it is the fast moving long legged ones. Long legs. Yeah, the, the yeah, like the ground spiders. But, they just seem less terrifying. They oh, have the, those sand them. spiders that you find on the beach and it's just fucking there and it's really fast. Boom. And I will say as well, my fear <laughs> of spiders. Is, is cranked like crazy if I have any remote thought that they might be poisonous, which is rare because I'm in Britain. But like, you know, if they have like any kind of coloring or bright color on them, I always just assume like, wait, does that mean it's poisonous? Oh my god! Well, spiders I mean, not necessarily. Yeah, well, no, that's the thing. I don't know shit all about how spiders point. work. I just fear them. Because yeah. <laughs> around here, the poisonous ones are by no means bright. Oh, well, yeah, that's right, it's just brown. It's, it's just brown recluses and black spiders. widows here. You guys, it's you know, it's not like yeah. Here. For us, we have. <laughs> I don't even know if there are fucking lethal spiders oh. in Britain. Destroy it! And it's like poetry. It rhymes with a seal door. Elijah Wood is uh. He is <laughs> giving it his all. Was there, I've never understood people saying he's a shitty actor in this film. No, he's yeah, I never. Just let it go. 
how can they say that in this scene? I mean, put into one side all of the other <laughs> great scenes with Frodo, this scene in particular, it, this is a big challenge. Inside the ring is going, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh yeah, shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, everything You really want me, can. I'm shiny, ooh, look at me. You everything keep it me, right? can, but like, I don't, look at his eyes. The total change of expression. Well, yeah, it's like he's turned into a completely different person. The ring is mine. Imagine how Sauron feels with him putting yeah, that ring like, on now. Holy yeah, shit. It's like, what the fuck? Right there. It's like, what? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Fly, you fools. Guys, the ring is in the one place I really don't want it to be. Yeah, that's gotta be a relief. Seeing Gandalf up I like and at the... him. And the joke about him not knowing Legolas's name. <laughs> like, like, he's really happy when Gimli comes in. He remembers Gimli. <laughs> even though Gimli didn't really say that much more to him than Legolas did. That's the thing, though. You just, even if you didn't meet Frodo at all, you'd be like, motherfucker, you, 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 you saved the you, world. You, you, you saved the world. You destroyed the ring. And you know it's, for a fucking like, fact yeah, well, yeah, that yeah, he's going to talk yeah, yeah. to Sam later and be like, can we keep that one part of the story just to us? Mm -hmm. The part where I didn't throw the ring in immediately. Can we, uh, we don't need to tell people about that <laughs> yeah, part. Yeah, wasn't one of the jokes we made last time that Sam started reading Frodo's account to the book and being like, hold on. Some oh, of these wait, 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 wait. Right. He uses the rest of the book to to write. Actually, no, this did not happen the way he said it. You're going to tell him that I hit Smeagol with a rock or else I'm going to tell them what really happened. <laughs> the way Frodo writes is like, Smeagol tricked Sam again and again. <laughs> Like, Sam was very retarded. <laughs> Sam was so dumb, he actually thought he ate the Lembus bread. When I threw the ring, Sam was very upset. <laughs> he wanted to keep it.